I'd like to start off this video by saying thank you to everybody who helped out to make this possible. This was a very expensive project and it is a pretty awesome project that we were able to um, get our level 1 certification. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Um, welcome back to uh, 3 Space Metal Rocketry and today you get to start out with uh, voiceover Samuel. Um, today we are going to be talking about, or right now I'm going to be talking about, the journey from about August to October of our level 1 rocketry certifications. Um, so here we got our, just me unboxing um, the rocket kits. We got four Epigee Zephyrs. Um, we got the Zephyr because it's just a reliable rocket and it comes in a kit and it wasn't too expensive. Um, we also got four grain casings and delay drilling tools. Uh, so it wasn't it wasn't a very interesting package, but it was a package. Okay, so next up we have the uh, Zephyr package of unboxing. Um, everything here is um, in the package. So this is what we got, and we have the massive motor tubes and not motor tubes, the massive body tubes and the massive nose cone. Um, this, everything about this rocket is very large. Rocket motors. And that is where I'm gonna cut you off. Um, right here is just um, unboxing the Rocketeer's favorite um, box, the box that comes with labeled with 1.4 explosives, um, and it's a big box full of big rocket motors and rocket boxy. Okay, and then for the final unboxing, we just have um, our onboard video cameras. Um, it's just a uh, Runcam 2 4K, and it um, it does a 1080 at 120 frames per second, which is why you got the 4K version, just because um, you want that nice slow mo, and um, even if you don't put it on the rocket, you can put it on the pad because it's super small. Um, it's like if you put like it's the area basically of four quarters. Um, so, it's uh, quite small, uh, and it's very versatile. Okay, so next up we have just um, part one of us assembling the rockets. This is a time lapse. Um, it was raining a little bit outside, so we closed the door. And then um, it's just assembling. And in this um, day, we got the internal fillets done, and um, we're able to get all the tape on the external fillets, get all the tape for the external fillets, but the camera dies early, so I'll add a couple of clips of us applying the internal fillets. This is starting to get tacky. Yeah. Yeah, I need to put on my end cap soon. Hey Samuel, can you look in here? What do you think? What, what else do I need to do in there? Um, what do you think? I think that that looks better than mine. Um, I think you can put the end cap on. Alright, what do you think about mine? Um, Should we cut the cord before we do that? I suppose, huh? That looks... That oh, looks yeah, better than mine. So. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. You don't need to pull out the cord anymore. You don't want cord. Or actually, Sam, do you mind if you just. Uh, 
What? There you go. You got it. Oh my no. gosh. Boom. Push it down more. There we go. There you go. It's in. It's in. Let's go. Your turn. All the slots look like they're lined up. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Ah. I don't know why this doesn't go in. You have to push it. Yeah, you have to like actually force it in. Boom. You're in. Is that it? That looks like so it's it. Further it goes. Okay. Yep. And then make a big fillet around both the edges. Edges. You had a lot easier time than me getting it in. You're gonna wanna wipe it off with your finger once it gets, yeah, there you go. Rocket poxy time. We're gonna. Uh, we got better lighting and um, we're gonna do our fillets. Also, if you ever get rocket poxy, just beware that for some reason they come like. It's the forbidden piece. They come like not even all the way full. They come like five sixths of the way full. Thick die. There you go, that's probably more than enough. We added three drops of the dye. And it is very black. It was like gray before, barely even gray. I wouldn't call these pretty fillets. Hopefully we can do decent at painting so we can cover up this mess. Acetone time.
Our team definitely isn't doing hardly anything. No, that's why I said we should have it closer. Yeah. Just like this segue to our, our sponsor. sponsor. Us. Literally nobody. And if Apogee Components does want to sponsor us, that'd be, um, amazing. <laughs> and also highly improbable. It, it all, yeah, it's also probably not gonna happen, like, one in a million years. I don't even know if they sponsor, they have their own YouTube channel as well, like, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not like, they can't do their own marketing. Thank you.